Hey, welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another NECA Toys Disney Gargoyles video. And today, I'm very excited because we have a brand new repaint for the Goliath figure, but this time around, it's based off the Sega Genesis game. And I gotta tell you, when this was revealed, the first thought in my head was, well, now that is the perfect repaint you could hope for for a Goliath. And when I got the box in the mail from the Target app, you open it up, and it looks exactly like the old Sega Genesis box, which I totally remember buying from Target. It has the usual photos of the figure. It even has a nice little Easter egg, so to speak, on the side, where in the video game, when you get far flung into the future, you have to deal with these little robotic enemies due to the Eye of Odin. And uh, I can't say I necessarily want this as a figure, but then I can't necessarily say I wouldn't turn it down either, right? In true NECA Toys fashion, it has a nice little window box. You open it up, you get to see a nice photo of the figure, and then, of course, everything that the figure entails. On the back side of the box, keeping in tune with the whole Sega Genesis-ness of it, you get, again, nice photos of the figure. You get to see a little bit more gargoyles rule the night. That was a little tagline for the video game. And here's everyone involved with the creation of the figure, so thank you very much for that. And here's the barcode. Now, like I said, mine came from the Target app, but these are actually starting to hit Target store shelves. Now, it's not an exclusive. If you're not familiar with the old Gargoyles video game for the Sega Genesis, it was something. I'll tell you right now. It kind of sort of was based off the cartoon. It kind of took its own divergent lore, so to speak, dealing with the Eye of Odin. The Eye of Odin did appear on the cartoon, but it was vastly different from what you see in the video game. And I totally remember going to Target when they had to ask the employees, go in the glass cases, they open it up, all that jazz, and they handed it to me. And the first thing I remember now is going, it's not in the old school clamshell. You know those hard clamshells that Sega Genesis games came in? They went to a softer box, and I remember being very disappointed by that. But I'll always remember the cartridge, that's for sure. And I do have it somewhere around here is in my old Sega Genesis gear. Now, the game was a mixed bag for me. I had to play this into the ground because as a kid, you didn't get a lot of video games and the ones that you picked, even if they were terrible, you are kind of stuck with. So I remember playing this into the ground, right? I don't remember getting very far, but I do know that it was fun. We'll just say, I have fun memories, and I especially like this boss right here with the free fallen elevator. That was cool. I never got to Demona, so that would be the only sort of callback to the actual cartoon. Other than that, in terms of any Gargoyles characters, Goliath is the only one. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, high atop Castle Wyvern. This is a look at the brand new NECA Toys, the Sega Genesis repainted version of Goliath. And while I got all you jalapenos here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my Disney Gargoyles videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. And we got some more Gargoyles videos coming soon. Now, here's everything out of the packaging. You get folded wings. You get the outstretched wings, which are still enormous. You get a couple extra fists. And then, yeah, you actually do get... The Goliath figure. Go figure, right? Now, the two head portraits are cool. This time around, it has that video game kind of, sort of, cell shading, so to speak. And Goliath has some really cool red eyes. This time around, though, they've kind of fixed the hair for it to be a lot more malleable when having to deal with the tremendousness of the wings, right? They were always a little bit stiff, so they have fixed that. The wings are the exact same as the prior Gargoyles Goliath release. They do have a little bit more of that 16-bit cel-shaded graphic look to it, which I appreciate. Don't get me wrong, I totally dig the colors, but I think it could have been painted a little bit better. And I think that this is one of those rare misses for NECA toys, in all honesty. When I look at the Turtles in Time, I would have much rather preferred something like this, something a little bit more jagged. It does fit the look of the video game for the Goliath, but I think they could have gone this route just to make it more video game-ish. It's kind of there, but kind of not. I'll just tell you, I'm not thrilled with it. It's just kind of, yeah, that's okay. And you do get, of course, two wings with the exact same paint details. You do also get the folded wings, and I have to tell you, 
Now that we kind of see that you can get the folded and the outstretched wings, a lot of people are going to go, well, how come it wasn't in the box in the first place? The 16-bit cell shaded graphics are all there. Looks good. On the underside with the blue of the underside of the wings, I do wish that it had more of that kind of graphical texture, which I think it's kind of lacking. But in talking about the wings and getting both sets, you are foregoing a lot of extra accessories that you would normally get, which can be a good and a bad thing, just FYI. Now, you do get a pair of extra fists. That's it in terms of the accessories. And I really do think that they should have put a little bit extra paint on the hands to really keep that 16-bit look going. Now, with Goliath himself, he looks pretty good, and I like that you can get the head all the way up. Again, the hair works with you. He's not really hunched over anymore. He has all that graphical texture, which, again, as I've already pointed out, it's okay, but I'm not absolutely thrilled with it. I know a lot of people have said, well, it kind of looks like his stone look as well. Kind of, sort of. The one miss, I think, is towards the back. You have all the cell shading, right? And then on the tail, absolutely Nothing. Now, I know it's a bendy wire tail. It has a little bit of articulation right there where it meets his butt, but <laughs> I think it should have had some paint to it, much like I said with the hands. It's just kind of, yeah, I expected more from NECA to kind of combat that a little bit. On the underside of the hands, it kind of looks like he's got some shading, but if there is, it's very subtle. And in all honesty, I really wouldn't say it's painted. Now, the head portraits are cool. It's the same exact ones. I wish they would have given us maybe a different expression, we'll just say, but for what is there, it's totally fine. This is a repaint. The hair will work with you when you want to install the wings. A lot better articulation this time around. Nothing feels like it's going to break. It's very fluid. So they've changed the plastic, and I appreciate that. At least with a new figure like this, being a repaint, yada yada, he's a lot more flexible. You don't have to worry about things snapping or breaking. And with this Gargoyles line, that is something I do keep in mind quite often. The wings are huge. The characters are huge. They go tumbling a lot. So it's nice to see that he's a lot less brittle, so to speak. When you have the wings attached, he looks awesome. He really does. He's very much that Sega Genesis Gargoyles video game coloring, which I, of course, love. The draped wings, they're okay. Not something that I would really associate with the actual Sega Genesis. Most of the time you're running around, you're attacking enemies, you're definitely using your wings. It's nice that they threw them in the box. But again, not something that is extremely necessary. In terms of posing him, just like the video game, there's really not much that you're going to be able to really recreate. However, in the instances of when you're dead, essentially, and you get turned to stone, the arms, the legs, everything can be posed out with the wings all the way up and you can kind of get that look a going. The one big miss that I think that he really should have come packaged with is the Eye of Odin. And this is very much the boss, the prevalent enemy of the game. And I think just a small floating little red orb supported hovering by a clear plastic stand, I would have much rather preferred that to the draped wings. Again, you're not going to get much out of this character, but that would have made it more video game-ish to me. And speaking of video game characters, of course, Goliath is going to be in that 7-inch scale. He's actually a little bit taller, of course, because of his feet and everything else. But if you have a video game shelf, Metroid, Nintendo, Sega, or otherwise, he will look good. And just to kind of show you some scaling with an old-school Sega Genesis clamshelled box... Yeah, he is uh, a little roughly the size of the box with a little hang tag sort of deal. So that will wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new NECA toys from their Disney Gargoyles line, the Sega Genesis Colors Goliath. Again, very much in those Sega Genesis Colors, to me, could have been a little bit better. It's a rare miss for NECA toys to be sure, but I really do think that with all the extra parts in the box, he's definitely missing the Eye of Odin. Now, one other character they can do later, of course, in these colors would be Demona. Perhaps she can come with it. Or if you want to do some enemies, I really wouldn't say no. But for now, this will do just fine. It's not the greatest repaint, but it is decent enough if you are a huge Sega Genesis Gargoyles fan. But you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Gargoyles. 
And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, when you're in the rookery level, when you're going up against the boss, just keep cheesing him, right? Just keep swiping, you'll kill him in no time. A little pro gargoyle Sega tip right there. When you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.